Welcome back to iClone3D.com, the number one place for all your animation needs. And in today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how we can actually create our own actor groups that we can then save out and bring in to use whenever we like. We're specifically going to be looking at using the Modern People Sampler Pack to actually give us a bunch of actors that we can use in our scenes. And we're going to be creating these actor groups by using the fantastic new tool that comes with iClone 8, and that is the actor groups tool. So to access it, what we firstly want to do is we want to go up to our create panel up here. And you can see here, we've got the create actor group. So we're just going to select this. And what this is going to do is when we actually add characters to the scene, it's going to save them here in our base group and allow us to then save those out and bring them in later whenever we want to use them. So we're going to go over to the modern sampler pack that you can pick up off Reillusion. Fantastic pack that's going to give you a range of different kind of characters and avatars that you can use in your scenes. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to individually kind of drag and drop characters in that I want to use to populate my scene. Now, once your actors load up, you do want to play with the orientation to get them in the correct position. And so I'm just going to use the rotation tool to rotate my characters around. And we're going to be creating a kind of audience that's watching this character here on stage perform. So again, you just want to get them in the right orientation and get them in the correct position. And once you've done that, all you need to do is drag and drop your actors in. And you'll see over here, they start to fill up underneath your base group. And once you've loaded up all of your characters and you're happy with the amount of characters you've got in your scene, you'll see here that they show up underneath the base group and we've got all of our different characters in that group. Now, what we want to do is we want to add some motions to these characters. So I'm just going to come into my animation tab and I'm going to look for the crowd audience animations that I've got here. Again, you can pick these up off Reillusion. Now, the great thing is, is we can add all of these motions to our character. And when we save it out, they'll come back in with our group. So when you bring your group back in, they'll have all of the motions that you place on them. So I'm just going to add the character motions by dragging and dropping them on the different characters. And once you've added all of your motions, we can play that back. And you can see we've got a really awesome scene in front of us with our audience dancing and cheering our character on stage who's performing. Now, if we come over here to the actor group, you can see we've got the motions added here and you can see in the drop down menu it tells you what the kind of motions are if it's for a male or female etc and you've got all of those motions added now to your characters now the cool thing here is as i said we can save this out now as an actor group so we can bring these all in as one specific group so to do that what we're going to do is all we're going to do is go to the save and you can save this wherever you like. You can choose to save it on your desktop or your own folder that you create, etc. I'm going to save it where the kind of other actor groups are. And I'm going to create my own folder by right clicking. And I'm going to create a new folder called custom groups. And you can save a, a folder like this out for yourself just to know this is where you're saving all of your kind of custom groups that you're creating. And I'm just going to name this audience one and I'm going to hit save and that's going to save out as an I actor group file that you can then bring in later and actually place it in your scenes and it will place that whole group in. So it's really, really simple to do, as you can see, and we'll just basically test that this is working. Once this loads up, I'm going to come into my scene tab and I'm just going to delete all of these characters that I've added. So I'm going to select them, hold the shift key and select all of these characters and we'll just actually hide them for now in the scene so we can't actually see them. And now I'm going to go back to the beginning of my timeline and what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go to my actor group folder and here under the custom groups you can see we've got the audience saved out and I'm just going to drag that in and drop it. And once that's loaded, you can now see we've got an actor group in our scene that we created. And if we play this back, you can see it comes in with all of the characters and the motion. So really cool, simple way that you can create your own actor groups for any given scenario and load them in once you're ready to use them in different scenes or different scenarios that you see fit. So it's a really cool way to create your own actor groups. Now, let's imagine that we want to actually change some of these characters out and swap them around for different characters in our scene. I'm going to show you how we can do that by using the preset function, which is basically going to allow us to save out a different actor group 
and then bring it back in and randomize the characters by adding different characters to the actor pool. So it's a very simple process. We're gonna come up to our preset section and we're gonna select this. And now we can actually add back in that actor group that we created earlier by clicking on the add asset. So when we click on this, that will take us to our folder where we saved out that audience actor group. And we're gonna double click on that and that's gonna load in the characters here in our actor pool. Now what we need to do is we need to go back into our modern people sampler pack and we're just going to basically select a few different characters that we now want to add into the actor pool so we can then randomize them in just a moment. So it's a really simple process. You just want to go through your characters, making sure you don't select the identical characters that we've already got in our audience, of course, and we're just going to select a few of these and then we can drag them and drop them here in our actor pool. And once you've done that, you'll see it will add all of those avatars to your actor pool. And now we can actually save this out as a preset. So I'm gonna click save, and we're just gonna save this as audience preset. And this is gonna now allow us to bring it back in, and it will allow us to now randomize all of those characters in the scene. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come into my scene tab, and I'm just gonna hide all of these audience that we've already got here. I'm gonna close this. And now we can actually go into our file explorer and we can drag and drop this audience preset that we just saved out back into our scene. So it's a very simple process. Once that loads up, it's now gonna give us the option to randomize those characters and change them with a simple click of a button. And now you can see it brings those characters back in, but because we added different characters to our actor pool, it's already randomized those for us. Now, if we wanted to randomize them again, we can just come here into our randomize actor group and we can click on this randomize actors and leave the all actors check marked. And then we can just click randomize. And now you can see quite quickly, it starts to randomize those characters. And you can do this a number of times to you know, continuously randomize them. You can add a number of different characters to your actor pool. So you've got a bigger kind of choice and selection to randomize from. And once you're happy with your choice of characters, we can now close this randomize actor group and then we can just start to reposition our characters in the correct position by using the movement gizmo and just dragging them back into position where we've of course got our lighting set up and now we can see we've got a completely different audience. So really, really is that simple to do. And it's just an awesome way that you guys can actually start to create random actor groups and get them working perfectly in your scene. With a few simple steps, you can start to really fill out your scenes with character motion on them and it looks incredible. Now, another really awesome feature is the actor group pack that you can pick up again from the Reillusion website. And what this is gonna do is it's just gonna allow you to very quick and very simply set up scenes by using some custom preset actor groups that are already created for you, such as two people standing and talking and you know a line of characters queuing up to go into a shop or even just people standing by themselves and kind of playing on a phone, et cetera. But as you can see here, all you need to do is drag and drop them in your scene. And you can see quite quickly, you can start to layer up a scene and get it fill, filled up with characters really quick, really simple and really easy to use. So it's a really awesome pack that you wanna look into also. And it does come with preset motions on the characters. So as you can see, when we play this back, you'll see that the characters we've dragged and dropped in already come in with preset motion. So that's a really awesome pack that's really gonna help you set up your scenes really quickly and create crowds of people and fill out your scenes so it can really sell that vision to your audience. So again, another pack that you might wanna look at on Reillusion and pick up today so you can really start to create some awesome, awesome scenes. So that really does conclude this tutorial. I really hope it helped. And I really hope to see you guys again soon for another tutorial. Thank <laughs> you.